let the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. The kingdom of love, everlasting gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of truth, leader Olumba, Olumba, Obu, the supernatural teacher. First lesson, John chapter 15 verses 9 to 10. As the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love. Even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. Second lesson, John chapter 14, verse 21. He that art my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him and will manifest myself in him. Golden text, John chapter 4, verse 16. Jesus said unto her, Go, call thy husband, and come hither. The greatest spirit is now on earth. Quote, Brethren, you can see from the lessons why it is true that nobody believes in God and no one knows who God is. The reason for this unbelief is that because God is love and since nobody has and practices love, obviously no one believes in God. Our Lord Jesus Christ revealed God to mankind as the Father and also as the Holy Spirit. While John revealed them as love, notwithstanding it was impossible for the whole world to understand or know who God really was and is, love is unique. You may have every wealth in the world and still remain empty if you do not have love. When you have love, invariably you have the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. I have always told you that the great spirit in your midst had never before visited the earth plane. No human being has ever seen his face. The reason being that his face is made of pure love. I mean perfect love. From this, you can see the foolishness of those who claim to be worshippers of the true God whose dwelling place is behind the clouds. We members of the Brotherhood of the Cross and Star are different from the worldly people because we have understood that the true God is love. It is not possible to have God's presence in your daily life if you do not possess and practice love. These questions are directed at you. Do you know whom you claim to worship? How rational is it to claim to be saved when you do not have love? You should know that the person who possesses love is he who is in God and has God in him. Remember the axiom that he who laughs last laughs the best. The kingdom of Jehovah God and earth. Long ago it was revealed that at the end of time the landlord of all creation shall establish his kingdom among men and shall also dwell with them. The kingdom has now been established on earth, yet people have refused to accept and recognize it as the promised kingdom. 
indisputably this is the kingdom revealed to King Nebuchadnezzar in a dream which was interpreted by prophet Daniel according to prophet Daniel's interpretation many kingdoms shall rise they shall decline fall and vanish but one unique kingdom will emerge and subdue all other kingdoms and stand forever brethren brotherhood of the cross and star is that impregnable kingdom of nebuchadnezzar's dream having known this you are expected to no longer nurse doubts apart from that there is one vital message that you must know and that is the almighty god is at present on earth the alpha and omega is now dwelling with men furthermore you should be aware that the sole owner the sustainer and giver of life to all living creatures is now on earth since he is omniscient omnipotent and omnipresent he is ever in you and around you he is with you wherever you are our lord jesus christ's prayer answered when our lord jesus christ was on earth he prayed that the kingdom of his heavenly father should be established on earth has the prayer not been answered has the kingdom not been established on earth what more do you still want what are you waiting for the people who doubt the physical manifestation of God's kingdom on earth are the children of perdition. Fortunately, we are grateful to God because no child of perdition is found among the children of brother of the cross and star. The children of brother of the cross and star have been enjoined to gird their loins and desist from playing around they should always be ready to be used by the father for this is the time to worship god in spirit and in truth it is a must that you live up to god's expectation by giving him his due honor his reverence praises and glory because he has fully manifested in this generation in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ the final home of man brotherhood of the cross and star is the last hope of man it is the final home for mankind where God himself is dwelling with his creation no other home in heaven in earth or other worlds apart from brotherhood of the cross and star has been preserved for man therefore you should get ready to serve the father diligently in his kingdom the time that people freely control the affairs of their life has passed more so the time that man's paramount interest was to procreate was to procreate as sins pass soon all mundane things shall vanish from the world and man will also end his search for earthly pleasure by this time he shall seek love peace and joy in the holy spirit god is love and so he does not fail in his promises for love is the steadfast and eternal however you should know that he is a jealous god 
and would not accept any excuse for not having love and refusing to serve him with all your mind and soul. Let all your love, your mind, and trust be in God alone. He is personified on earth to gather all the things that belong to him. Recall when our Lord Jesus Christ said to his disciples, when he noticed that their faith in him was dwindling, he advised them, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. That was in John chapter 14 verses 1 to 3. The meaning of Christ's statement was that since he is love, he has come down on earth to make his dwelling with you. And wherever love, which is Christ, is found, there also could be There also he would be. This statement also reveals that the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are one. And that is what love signifies. The truth is that it is impossible to hide from love. The only possibility of avoiding love can only be when you prefer perdition to salvation. The time of selection. Remember our Lord Jesus Christ's explanation of the parable of the wheat and tears to his disciples. According to the Lord, a certain man planted wheat in his garden and after some time discovered tears growing alongside the wheat and when his servant inquired from him if they should uproot and if, he, if they should uproot the unwanted tears he instructed them to allow it he, ex, he explained that it was the work of the devil the master told his servants that if they should uproot the tears they might mistakenly uproot the weed along with the tears. So they should allow both of them, the wheat and the tears, to grow together until the harvest time, which refers to the end of time. It is at it is at harvest time that the man would ask his servants to first gather the tears in bundles for burning and then the wheat for preservation in his granary now when our lord jesus christ was alone with his disciples he vividly explained the meaning of the parable to them that he that soweth this good seed is the son of man the field is the world the good seed are the children of the kingdom but the tears are the children of the wicked one. The enemy that sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world. And the reapers are the angels. As therefore the tears are gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be in the end of this world. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend, and them which do iniquity, and shall cast them into a furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. Who are ears to hear? Let them hear. 
That was in Matthew chapter 13, verses 37 to 43. Accordingly, those who would not submit to the rulership of God shall at the end be separated from the children of God and allowed to face severe anguish and tribulation. The New Ark Brotherhood of the Cross and Star is the center of love. It is a place where the Almighty God dwells and where judgment would be delivered to all creation. If I may ask, where else would you find shelter if you wander away from the throne of love? Being aware of this fact, you are advised to hold fast to what is good in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Brotherhood is the new ark of Noah and it is the last opportunity for you to save yourself. The only thing required of mankind is for him to come into the ark and receive salvation. Now is not the time of Lot, whose wife was consumed by her lust for mundane possession. In, the present, in this present age, all the children of God have been drawn into the eternal ark built by the Holy Spirit. These children are called from all nooks and crannies of the world to receive salvation in the ark. This is the time set aside for all the lovers of God, his children and faithful angels to rejoice in the Father's kingdom. Our God is love. With love, he rules till eternity in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Christ Student Natural Choir is sent from above to render melodious songs and it is endowed with the understanding to render songs that are befitting to every gospel. Spiritual Chorus The kingdoms of this world, the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdom of God and his Christ. Remember that when the disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ sought to know when the kingdom would come and the signs that would herald or accompany its coming, he revealed that for as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. That was in Saint Matthew chapter 24 verses 27 to 28. Wherever you find carcass, there also will you find eagles gathered. So, wherever you find love, there also would you find the entire children and angels of God. And the kingdom of the world would become one unshakable kingdom of the Almighty God and His Christ. Re examine the first lesson. First lesson, John chapter 15, verses 9 to 10. As the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue in my love. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love. Even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. The lines of the above lesson are soothing and consoling to the mind. They constitute a heart-to-heart -heart talk between the father and his children. 
we are most fortunate to enjoy this fatherly love expressed in this generation. He speaks the worldly, he speaks to the worldly people in parable, but to his children in the kingdom, he speaks expressly and plainly. Thus, the worldly people hear him but are unable to understand him, while his children are able to understand him. You should know that you always dwell in the Father's love and having nothing to fear or loss. Undoubtedly, the children of God are completely protected by the Father's love. The first lesson is neither a parable nor a fairy tale. They are the recorded words of God, considering what he has said, that as the Father loves him, so does he love us, and we should abide in his love. We can understand that we are sufficiently sheltered by the Father's love, and nobody can alter the situation. Be warned that perdition awaits you if you depart from the Father's great love. Take your mind back to what Moses predicted about a certain prophet who was to come. The scriptural reference presents this explicitly. For Moses truly said unto the fathers, A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren, like unto me, him shall he hear in all things whatsoever he shall say unto you, and it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. That was in Acts chapter 3 verses 22 to 23. In accordance with this prediction, all those who keep his commandments and are called into the kingdom shall rejoice forever. But those who would not abide by his injunctions shall not inherit the kingdom of God. And those whom the kingdom is meant for shall possess it, and it shall be found richly in them till eternity. No other thing apart from love is needed in the kingdom. It is only when you have love that you can practice the word of God, and that is only what would qualify you for the kingdom. The scriptures also reveal that, Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it do not appear what we shall be but we know that when he shall appear we shall be like him for we shall see him as he is that was in first john chapter 3 verse 2 that is the reason why you are expected to possess to possess love so that you would resemble our father who is love according to the song rendered by the children of God's choir, wisdom, beauty, power, or any mundane influence shall not get you into the kingdom of God. The only thing found in the kingdom is love. This affirms why you should cultivate the spirit of love. You are enjoined to amend your ways. To conform to the way of love. Assuredly, you have been permitted to seek and you will find. If you did not possess love, you should ask and it shall be given to you. Love is the God, the Lord, the Christ, the peace, the joy and the kingdom you have been searching for. Love is the embodiment of all goodness, and so you should seek it, a lucky generation. The people of old begged to have the opportunity to see the kingdom 
in their days, but these pleas were not granted them. The kingdom referred to is the new heaven and the new earth wherein dwells righteousness. This promise is confirmed in the scriptures. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. That was in Second Peter chapter 3, verse 13. Recall that it has been stated that no one shall perish in this generation except the children of perdition. It is for this reason that you are enjoined to possess love if you are not a child of perdition. This gospel is not meant for a specific group of people, but to the entire creation of God. This fact about perdition should be extended to other people who are still outside of the brotherhood of cross and star. Do not allow anything to hinder you from demonstrating love. Beloved, the awareness of the manifestation of the Holy Spirit personified is fast spreading all over the world. So you should count yourselves most lucky to be in the fold with him. Take note that many more children are coming in great numbers. What is called the kingdom of God is too mysterious and its size is beyond human imagination. The kingdom consists of the children of God, the Word, the Christ, and the infinite love of God. These beings manifest the presence of the Almighty Father and of the Holy Spirit. Do not allow worldly position, pride, wealth, wisdom, and earthly gains to deprive you of the, of the love of God. Get rid of the desire to accumulate these mundane things and seek the love of the Father very soon. You would witness the glory of love in the children of God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have been advised by our Lord Jesus Christ to forsake all malicious acts, distasteful activities, and imputing of sin to one another. If we are able to abide by his advice, we would be his children, and the Father will reveal himself to us. For this reason, we should endeavor to adhere to the injunctions of God so that through the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we may have the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit in us. It is love that gives someone direct access to God. I mean the perfect love of God. Whosoever would diligently read, assimilate, and practically demonstrate what is contained in this gospel will surely inherit the kingdom of God. We examine the second lesson. Second lesson. John chapter 14 verse 21. He that art my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved of my father, and I will love him and will manifest myself in him. A call for sanctification. Brethren, a certain member of the Ek Kanka order sought to know from a brother who was formerly of the Jehovah Witness but is now in the Brotherhood Fall what he has achieved since his conversion to brother of the cross and star. The brother's response was that he has seen, he has gained experience and learned a lot of things that could not be numerated. The brother went ahead to reveal to the Ekis that brother of the cross and star is the only place where God has established his dwelling. He also disclosed that love is found 
in amazing abundance in brotherhood of the cross and star. In the end, he invited the Ekis to hurriedly come to brotherhood of the cross and star and worship God instead of remaining out there wasting his time. I enjoin you to sanctify yourself as the said brother has done. Do count your past crooked ways and ungodliness as past and gone and, and penitently come to the Father to be purified and made a temple of love for the Holy Spirit. It is only when you become a dwelling place of God that you would have salvation. It is only the love of God that is capable of redeeming man. This was what prompted our Lord Jesus Christ to say that he that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me and he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. That was in Matthew chapter 10 verse 37. Indisputably, any person that loves mundane wealth and exalted positions of the world more than Christ is not a child of God and cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Do not forget that if you do not lay down your life for others, you cannot enter into the kingdom of God. This is exclusive. This is exclusively God's time. And whatever we do should be done in such a way that it will bring glory to God. We are asked to always sing, dance, preach, and worship His holy name. More so, we should testify of His sublime nature, ways, and benevolence in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Do not be proud of the city, the state, or the country or continent of your birth. Do not also be boastful of your wealth, your wisdom, or power, but your source of pride should be the Holy Spirit. Re-examine the golden text. Golden text. John chapter 4, verse 16. Jesus said unto her, Go, call thy husband, and come hither. Beware of being taken unawares. Recall the parable of the ten virgins who stayed awake, waiting for the arrival of the bridegroom. Out of the ten virgins, five of them were wise enough to have filled their lamps with sufficient oil, while the other five were not wise enough to carry enough oil in their lamps, hoping that the oil would keep the lamps aglow till when the bridegroom would appear. To show their foolishness, when the bridegroom finally arrived, the five foolish virgins went begging for oil, and when they could not get any, they rushed to the city to get oil for the empty lamps. By the time they went around the town looking for oil, the bridegroom had come and gone into the house with the five clever virgins. And when the five foolish virgins eventually got oil and came back, the door was shut against them. So they could not meet the bridegroom. This parable is in Matthew chapter 25 verses 1 to 10. This parable of the ten virgins as presented by our Lord Jesus Christ was referring to this present time. So you are enjoined to be careful with the way you lead your life so that you are not taken unaware by the unfolding events. The time is very close. You are advised to abide by this gospel, which constitutes the covenant of God. This gospel is a warning to all and sundry. The gospel will indicate in your 
alertness because it is because it encourages you to adhere to the teachings of the Holy Spirit. Recall what the scripture have said. Who was before a blasphemer and a persecutor and an injurious? But I ordained, but I obtained mercy because I did it ignorantly in unbelief. That was in First Timothy chapter 1 verses 13 to 14. Accordingly, if you do not have love, you are free to humbly ask for it and you would be given. Be aware that if the owner of the house knew when the thief would come, he would have kept watch over it. So you should be sure that you are prepared to receive him when he comes. For this reason, for his reason to be accomplished, you are required to possess love, which is the only weapon. Take heed of those who will come to deceive you that the end of time has come. Do not forget that our Lord Jesus Christ revealed that the fate of many people who dwindle before the end will come. But when you think that the day has been delayed and thus venture to indulge in worldly affairs, it will be then that the end will come upon you unexpectedly. The end may come on a day you would want to try a little of fornication, a little of adultery or idolatry. That is why this warning should be considered quite timely and important. The people who would not be taken unawares by the coming of this great day are those who either are those who would endure to the end and also have faith in the word of God. Always remain unshaken when you have taken a decision to do a particular thing. Do not allow anybody to deceive you. The true vegetarian. Most of you call yourself vegetarian when you still consume dozens of eggs. How can this claim be true? Is eating an egg not eating a whole fowl? It is also amazing that those who drink milk still refer to themselves as vegetarian. Is it not ridiculous? What of the tea you take? Is milk not one of the ingredients used in the production of beverages? Of beverages? You should know that the moment you take milk, you have as well eaten the meat of the animals from which the milk was extracted. It should be made known to you that there are some people who have never ever eaten even fish in their life. They neither eat egg or take milk. All those who are vegetarian only desire the word that proceeds from the Father, which they are always ready to put into practice. They feed entirely on vegetables. I want you to know that there are more people spiritually than physically in the kingdom. All these people would soon start coming in great multitude. When our Lord Jesus Christ said that, the kingdom of God suffer violence. By that, he was not referring to the physical combat or exchange of gunshots. He was talking about the practice of love, humility, patience, endurance, and other deeds of righteousness. Spiritual quarrel. Get ready. Get ready. For the Lord shall come again. Whatever a man sows, whatever a man sows, 
the same he shall reap. Beloved, I do not intend to take you further. A stroke of the cane is sufficient for the wise. Let he who has ears to hear what the Holy Spirit has imparted unto the entire world here. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.